Well, you two already know what's happening. Where's Marco Polo? Come on! Oh, there he is. He's right there. Atta boy. Come on, old man. Good boy. Come on. Miss Daisy Rose is already there. The galloping of the horses. Ishka knows exactly what's happening. Come on, Marco. Come on. He's saying, I don't want to go. Now, if I open the gate, He's going to come because these guys are all going to gallop away. So I've got to open the gate. Move that out of the way here. Come on, Marco. Look at what's happened over here. They're hearing me call and all coming down. Look at the alpaca are all galloping. Okay. Okay! Hey everybody, it's not your turn yet. Come on, old man. Atta boy. Come on. Atta boy. Come on, old man. Come on. He's getting very old. Atta boy. Come on. Boy, come on, everybody's gone. They're all waiting for you. They're gonna be eating your supper. Come on. Suddenly realizing everybody's gone. Come on, mister. Atta boy. Sorry, ladies, this isn't for you. Wow. Oh, here comes Marco Polo. <laughs> Well, these two found it very interesting. Two. 
<laughs> Too funny. Shortness of breath. There we go. Job done. Miss Daisy Rose, you're not supposed to be getting any of this. It's not good for small horses. Marco Polo needs it. You don't need it. You good boy. You good boy. You good old man. You've had more than your share, Miss Daisy Rose. They're all munching. No, Miss Daisy Rose, afraid not. It's all for Marco Polo, not you. Go on. You get too much rich food and it's not good for you. You're already too fat. No. Sorry? No, the sheep aren't coming in. I know, they are shouting. They thought it was for them, me calling. They thought it was for them. Good Marco Polo. You'll have to bring her a carrot tomorrow in the rain. She says, you don't have a carrot, I'm not interested. I know. She's like that. She wants a carrot. Isn't it lovely and fresh straw, hay? The lads did well.